Have you ever heard of the infamous photograph taken in 1945 of an emaciated man standing amidst a mass grave in Belsen Camp? It depicts none other than the notorious Fritz Klein, a Nazi doctor. Born in 1888 in Factor Halam, Austro-Hungary, Klein became a practicing physician after studying medicine at the University of Budapest. But, during World War II, he served as a camp doctor at Auschwitz and participated in medical experiments on prisoners. In this video, we will talk about the brutal execution of the Nazi doctor, his role in the Holocaust, and his heinous actions that resulted in the deaths of thousands of men, women, and children. Stay tuned until the end to learn about the aftermath of his actions and the justice that he faced. The infamous photograph taken in 1945 of an emaciated man standing amidst the mass grave in Belsen camp depicts none other than the notorious Fritz Klein, a Nazi doctor. Born on November 21, 1888 in Factor Halam, Austro-Hungary, Klein was an ethnic chairman but held Romanian citizenship. After studying medicine at the University of Budapest, he became a practicing physician, working in three locations, one of which was near Kronstadt in 1939. In December 1939, when Germany invaded Poland and World War II commenced, Klein was drafted into the Romanian army as a Romanian citizen. Although Romania initially remained neutral during the war, it officially joined the Axis powers allied with Germany on November 23, 1940. Hitler, who saw the Soviet Union as his natural enemy, then launched Operation Barbosa on June 22, 1941, invading the Soviet Union with Romanian support. During the war, Klein served as a paramedic on the Eastern Front, where the battles between the Axis powers and the Soviet Union and its allies were fought. This conflict, which became the largest military confrontation in history, was characterized by atrocities, massive casualties, mass deportations, starvation, disease, and massacres. It is commonly referred to as the Great Patriotic War in the Soviet Union. Klein's presence on the Eastern Front is significant as it serves as a reminder of the atrocities committed during the war. The photograph of him standing in the mass grave in Belsen Camp serves as a chilling reminder of the horrors that occurred during this time. The battles fought on the Eastern Front ultimately became the turning point in the war and led to the eventual defeat of Nazi Germany and the Axis nations. In May of 1943, Romania was compelled by Hitler to release ethnic Germans from their army and draft them into the German military. The German and Romanian governments had entered into a treaty that stipulated that all German minority soldiers were to continue their service in the German army. However, this led to difficulties in training the proper German Wehrmacht, as one needed to be of German nationality to be trained in the army. One of the soldiers affected by this treaty was a man named Klein, who was assessed and listed in the personal main office and then sent to Yugoslavia on December 15th of that year. Upon arrival, he was assigned to work at the Auschwitz concentration camp as a camp doctor in the women's camp in Birkenau, under the command of Rudolf Hoess. The chief camp doctor at that time was Dr. Joseph Mengle, who had been in charge of medical experiments on prisoners since the summer of 1942. Klein participated in the regular selections of Jews for the gas chambers and was responsible for dividing the arriving transport into two groups, those who were fit to work and those who were deemed unfit due to age, weakness, or being children under 15 years old. The latter group was sent to the gas chambers and crematoria. Klein was also involved in conducting medical experiments on the prisoners. One such experiment involved injecting his victims with benzene to harden their arteries resulting in the deaths of thousands of men, women, and children. The fate of the experimental subjects was a concern for the assessed doctors, who often ordered the victims to be killed by lethal injection or in the gas chambers to cover their tracks. These medical experiments were part of the horrific atrocities committed during the Holocaust, and the doctors who participated in them were complicit in the murder of countless innocent people. He later worked as a medical doctor in a gypsy camp 
before being transferred to the Norongama concentration camp in December 1944. In January 1945, he was sent to the Bergen-Belsen concentration camp, where he witnessed the arrival of thousands of new prisoners, as the Nazi Germans evacuated other camps in the last weeks of the war. Sadly, there were already too many people living in the camp, and there was a severe lack of food and inadequate sanitation. Because of this, outbreaks of typhus and other diseases occurred, resulting in the deaths of hundreds of prisoners every day. The German army negotiated a truce and an exclusion zone around the camp in order to prevent the spread of disease in preparation for the arrival of the British and Canadian forces in 1945. Henry Hitler gave his assent to the surrender of the camp without putting out much of a fight, and the majority of the assets were allowed to be removed. Despite this, there were only a handful of assessed males and females, including the camp commandant Joseph Kramer, who has remained to keep order in the camp. Klein was one of the people who remained behind to assist Kramer in turning over the camp to the British forces. Klein was one of the people who stayed behind. Kramer issued the order for remaining prisoners to remain in their jobs until April 15, 1945, before the arrival of the British troops. When the British and Canadian soldiers finally gained entry to the camp, they discovered more than 60,000 prisoners, the majority of whom were suffering from severe illnesses and were starving, as well as more than 13,000 bodies that had not been buried scattered across the camp. The former members of the SS camp staff were coerced by the British forces into assisting in the burial of the thousands of bodies in mass graves, which were later documented by the film and photographic unit of the British Army. The now famous response that Klein gave when he was asked how he could square his actions with the ethical obligations that he had as a physician was, because it is gangrenous, the human appendix must be removed from the body in accordance with my Hippocratic Oath. The Jewish people are the cancerous appendices of the human race. This is why I remove them. In the end, Klein and 44 other members of the camp staff were brought before a British military court in Lunenburg to face charges. The proceeding was formally known as the trial of Joseph Kramer and 44 others. During the course of the trial, Klein was accused of having committed crimes not only at Auschwitz but also at Belsen. Oscar, one of the witnesses, stated in his testimony that Klein was involved in the process of selecting individuals to work in the gas chambers. Glenn claims that when transports arrived at Auschwitz, it was the job of the doctors to select individuals who were deemed unfit to work or incapable of doing so. This included individuals who are particularly susceptible to harm, such as children, the elderly, and those who were ill. Klein acknowledged that he had selected individuals to be sent to the gas chambers at Auschwitz, and admitted that he had seen the gas chambers that were located in the crematory at Auschwitz. However, he asserted that he only had done so because he was following orders from Dr. Verse, and that he had been given the directive to select people who were unable to perform their jobs. Klein was ultimately found guilty of crimes that he was accused of committing at both Auschwitz and Bergen-Belsen, despite his defense. As a direct consequence of this, he was given a death sentence. Albert Pierpoint carried out Klein's execution by hanging on the 13th of December 1945 at the Hamlin prison. As we come to the end of this video, We can't help but feel a sense of horror at the atrocities committed by Fritz Klein and other Nazi doctors during the Holocaust. It's important to remember and acknowledge the past, so that we can learn from it and ensure that such acts of cruelty and inhumanity never happen again. We hope this video has shed light on the role of Nazi doctors in the Holocaust and the brutal execution of Fritz Klein. It's a story that needs to be told. If you found this video informative, please consider sharing it with others and subscribing to our channel for more thought-provoking content.